This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Westminster Abbey, one of the great churches of Christendom, was consecrated on the Feast of the Holy Innocents in 1065. Now the Abbey celebrates its 900th anniversary and the theme is One People. Symbolizing Christian unity, leaders of the Eastern churches, representatives of the Roman Catholic faith and the free churches join the Anglican community in the inaugural service. Present were the Queen Mother, Princess Margaret and the Earl of Snowdon, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, Princess Marina, the Duke and Duchess of Kent, Princess Alexandra and her husband, and Prince Michael of Kent. At the head of the Queen's procession, the flag of St. Edward and the cross of Westminster. Ever since it was founded by St. Edward, Edward the Confessor, the Abbey has maintained a close link with the royal family, the historic link between church and state. Throughout long centuries, Westminster Abbey has been at the heart of Britain's history. So to the place where she was crowned in 1953, Queen Elizabeth returns to place a tribute of red roses on the altar in the chapel of St. Edward. who didst move thy servant, King Edward the Confessor, to build here an house to the honour of thy majesty, and didst enthrone him in the hearts of the English people. Mercy grant to our Queen, that as she received her earthly crown, in this the place of his burial, so she, ever possessing the hearts of her people, may with him attain unto an heavenly crown, through him who is the only potentate and king of kings, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At the foot of the altar is the Pilgrim's Book of this ninth centenary. Her Majesty's signature is the first of many that will be written here during these anniversary celebrations. Finally, a glimpse of the facade of Westminster under the floodlights which will illuminate it for the rest of this year. <laughs> 